Early morning at the Grand Palm Hotel in Gaberone, Botswana, and the anticipation is palpable in the air before the start of the 1997 Toyota 1000 Desert Race. Early to bed for the early rise, as only off-roaders can do, and everything was set for an exciting Section 2. Section 1 in reverse direction. Could see and Leek led the field away. Six minutes and ten seconds to make up, and the Chepex set off in a determined move. It was cold, very cold, and the spectators didn't envy crews with open windows at speed. Lambert and Fari were third away. Raymack and Houghton starting about ten and a half minutes behind the leaders. Kassi and Leek were pushing the Castrol Toyota Hilux as hard as possible, the sun in their eyes not making it easy at all. The early morning sun was great for beautiful camera shots, but the drivers were wishing it would climb quicker. Franz Chepek Sr. behind the wheel of the V-Motors race car. Still third on the road, Lambert and Fari in the Digidor Chenoweth. Not far behind, but still in fourth, Reineke and Houghton in the Toyota Land Cruiser. Jubert and Smith were hoping that their trouble-free run would continue in the Jojo Tanks Beetle Turbo. Schilling and Thorn in their Mototech Jumco still holding on to sixth overall, followed by Harry Roscoe in his Hitachi Raceco. Obud Carolyn in his lubrication equipment Raceco quickly caught and passed younger brother Bucks, although on total time he and Kenny Schultheimer were still in front. Rob Walk and Donovan Roscoe started 10th and were holding on to that position in their race go. Knowing the nature of the route after the previous day, most drivers were going quicker on day 2. Class E leaders in the production vehicle category, Niels Lemmer and Bruce de Klerk in their Toyota Hilux. Back on board with Barca and Juppert in a Penzoa Land Rover, the sun really making things difficult. But fortunately, Woolridge pulled over in the Pajero to let him through. The Fonfurens in the Class D Pajero had been passed by Woolridge and Barker, and now they had Olbitz and Clarsen in the Rapsa Raceco snapping at their heels. Not far behind, Derek Finway and Craig Jackson in the Quickford Raceco. Meanwhile, Kutsia and Leek came storming into a checkpoint, damage evident to the nose of the Castrol Toyota Highlands. And there is the aftermath of the accident which would prove crucial to the eventual outcome of the race. Kutsia and Leek would lose valuable time because of radiator damage and an overheating engine, allowing the Chepex to take the overall lead. Reineke and Houghton in the Toyota Land Cruiser were moving up in the field and were in second overall, having passed Lambert, Fouri and Kutsi and Leek. In third position now were Schilling and Thorne in their Mototech Jimco, pushing hard and looking at their best result of the season. While Rob Walk, who was sharing the driving with Sports 2000 racer Donovan Roscoe, were lying fourth in their Super Brave race car. Derek Pinoy and Craig Jackson were slicing through the field in their Quickford race car, coming up from 17th to 5th on the road. Harry Roscoe in his Hitachi race car made up one place and was in 6th. The special vehicles found the conditions much to their liking and Carolyn and Schultheimer moved up to 7th in their lubrication equipment race car. Bear and Smith in the Jojo Tanks Beetle Turbo Volvo 4x4 were struggling, losing three places to lie eighth. While Rashid Noble and Steve Cooper in their race car were having a good run and were lying ninth from a 19th starting position.
Barker and Joubert started the day in 14th position overall and were making good progress to light 10th just before the designated service point. This was where a very worried looking Toyota service crew were frantically trying to repair the damage to the Castrol Hilux. With about 50 kilometers to go, Franz Chepek Jr. was going flat out to nail home their advantage. Back at the famous river bridge crossing and R.P. Reinecke and Robin Houghton were treating it very cautiously in the Toyota Land Cruiser, lying second overall now and leading the production vehicle class. Richard Schilling and Ashley Thorne in the Motortech Jimco were third on the road and second in the special vehicle category. Fourth now were Bux Carolyn and Kenny Schultzhammer, who had a great run in their lubrication equipment race coat, taking advantage of the misfortunes of others. Cliff Barker and Malcolm Joubert were fifth on the road in their Pennzoil Land Rover, but up to third in the production vehicle category. Yaki Joubert and Danny Smith were having their best race of the season, lying fifth overall and fourth in the special vehicle category. Rashid Noble and Steve Cooper also had a good race in their race car, coming home in tenth overall and sixth in class. Kutsia and Leek were pushing hard after the damage had been partially repaired, but to make things worse, a drive shaft broke with the finish almost in sight and they lost even more time before it could be replaced. The Mitsubishi Pajero, Woolrich and Vermark had another solid race, leading Class E of the production vehicle category and lying ninth overall. But winning overall as well as their category for the third time in four races this year was a father and son combination of Franz Chepek Senior and Junior. They led Schilling and Thorne home in the special vehicle category by almost 37 minutes, thereby cementing their lead in the special vehicle championship. Joubert and Smith headed Walk and Roscoe by a mere 14 seconds. We've been waiting for this for a long, long time. We've won most of the other races, but uh, this one's been a challenge. And two years ago, we were half an hour ahead, 100 k's from the end, and we lost it because we jammed in gear. But this year, we've done it, and I uh, did it together with my son, which is fantastic. I'm really happy. After losing a lot of time on day one due to a puncture, Reineke and Houghton had no problems on day two and stayed in second position overall, winning the production vehicle category. Kutsia and Leek finished second in the production vehicle category, moving past Barker and Joubert. Woolridge and Von Furen brought the two Pajeros home for another good finish. Dus ik gezegd, je weet dat hij tien minuten wat je verloor, je krijgt het net weer opgemaakt. Nie. Als die oude voor je niet iets, niet om iets gebeurt, laat hij verdwaal of ook een paar wil krijgen, die krijg je hem net niet gevangen. Nie. Uh, ons zit bij verschillende marshals voorbij. Elke marshal is tijd dit tussen 9 en 10 minuten achter uh, chipwekkel chip geblij. Dus so, dit is, dit is, sorry, die, 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 die competitie is baie sterk.